Hi, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will be looking at LED. We will learn on how to control it by turning it on or off with MicroPython language. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. It is an electronic component that emits light when a sufficient voltage is applied on its terminals. It is commonly used as visual indicator to indicate that a machine is on, but it can be used for other useful purposes such as warning or error state or used as plainly as a source of light. I have here a poor LED module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It is an output device that can be controlled using a digital logic interface. It comes with four different colors, namely red, green, blue, and yellow. I will hold this red LED. It has three pins, namely G for the ground, V for the BCC or supply voltage, and lastly, S for the signal. By giving this a logic high, the LED will turn on, while a logic low, the LED will turn off. For this experiment, we will also be needing of the following. An ESP32 development board, which I already attached at the top of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, and a set of 3-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires. So for example number one, I will be using a red LED for the sake of simplicity. So I will set this aside. Okay. Then I will take one jumper wires. By the way, I put a small suction to hold the module in place. We will follow a color coding of the ESP32 shield, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the signal. So, I will attach the DuPont jumper wires to the LED. Now, I will put it below the e ESP32 shield. And I will choose a pin. I choose pin 16. Okay. And make sure that the black is on the black. The red wire is on the red and the yellow on the yellow. I will put the power of ESP32 shield. I will also attach the micro USB to the ESP32. Okay. Now our setup is done. Now for the software part, I will be using a Tony Python IDE. And if you don't have this installed, be sure to watch and follow tutorial number one on Get Started with MicroPython. So now to connect to the ESP32, Let's just press stop button. And when you see the three greater than sign here in the shell, you can start typing. In MicroPython, in order for us to be able to access the GPIO or the pins of the ESP32, we need to import a pin class from machine module. That is from machine import pin now in order for us to have an easy access or a name for the pin let's say in our case the pin 16 we need to create an object let's call it red okay and assign it to pin 16 by pin 16 and set the pin direction to 
output in dot out now the red led is now connected to gpio pin 16 now with this we can turn on the red led by sending red that on okay now the red led is now turned on we can turn it off by sending red that off by the way i am using the refol function or the refol capability of micropython in micropython we have the REPL or read evaluate print then loop it is an interactive prompt that we can use to easily test our source code just like what we are doing now another way to turn on the led is by using red that value and assign a value of one we can turn it off of course as you already guess by supplying zero or another way is using the true or false true notice that the true here is capital letter while the remaining letters are small letters we can turn it off using the false now for the next demonstration let me attach other uh, LED module give me some time to attach it so the same as the previous the red LED I will attach first the green Make sure that you follow the color coding. Which is black for the ground. V for uh, red for the VCC. And yellow for the signal pin. Okay. Black for the ground red for the vcc and s is yellow okay i will attach first the green so that we have a sequence red green then blue then yellow and make sure that the color coding is followed so using the suction i can put the module in place there are three ways to run a code or program in a micro python one is using the REPL. And another one is using the editor. Later on, I will demonstrate to you on how to upload a MicroPython source code to ESP32 root directory and let it run automatically after power on or after power reset. So for now, let's use the second method, which is using the editor. So from machine import pin so for the red i will just call it as r pin pin 16 pin dot out i will copy it to create a duplicate for the other pins so r g b and y this is pin 17 18 and 19 we can save this first let's name it as led example number one 
Let's run it. Now all the LEDs are turned off. Using our REPL, we can turn on any one. R that on, G that on, B that on, or yellow. That's it again. Ah, I duplicate the pin. So it should be 19. Okay, run again. Yellow that on. Okay, we can turn it off. Let's modify this one and let's make it every LED to blink. Okay, so let's save it. Save us. Let's call it example number two. Now, this time I want to blink it using a loop. So, while true. This is the way on how to create an indefinite or infinite loop in MicroPython. So, let's turn on R that on. Let's copy it. R E D Y and to stay turned on before turning it off we need to create a delay in MicroPython it is called sleep let's create a sleep for one second now to turn it off we copy again and just change this to off Now, in order to use the sleep function, we need to import a time module. So that is from time, import, sleep. Let's save it and run. Now, all the LEDs are blinking every one second. Now, I want to create a third example, which is a running LED. So we need to create this one to change this one to here and here. While the previous LED will turn up. So I will save this again. Save us. Example number three. To easily demonstrate that, we will be using a MicroPython list. So let's call it LED is equal to R, G, B, and Y. Now we created a MicroPython list, namely R, G, B, and Y. It's R, this one, as LED. We can access it similar to an array. Let's remove this one. Let's create here a for loop for x in range 4 LED x dot on, which turns on the current selected LED. Okay. Now, Let's turn off the previously selected LED by x minus 1. That off. And let's create a slip or delay for, let's say, 0 0.5 second. Let's test this one. I will save it. And run it huh? I need to stop first okay now that you see the triple 
greater than sign, we can press the run button. Now, the LED is running. So, it's changing and rotating. What happens here is we loop from 0 to 3. Then, we turn on the selected LED. Then, we turn off the previous selected LED. Then, we sleep before changing to the next selected LED. Let's print the X value so that we, we know what is the current value of X. Let's save this one. And my apologies again. Sorry. Forgot to stop first. Now run it. 0 to 3. Okay. Red LED is 0. 1 is green. 2 is blue. And 3 is yellow. Now to demonstrate the third way or third method on using the MicroPython, we will upload this example number 3 as main.py. To do that, we just need to click the file menu, then click save as, then select MicroPython device. Okay, sorry. We need to stop first the currently running code. If you see this one, you can use it. So try again. Click the file menu. Save as MicroPython device. And as you can see, there is a boot.py here. Let's type main.py. When you save or when you need to run any source code, you need to put main.py or you need to save it as main.py because after the boot.py, the next file name that MicroPython will execute is main.py. To check if you successfully uploaded the main.py, go to View, Files, and you can see here that there is a boot.py and main.py. Okay? Let's close this one. Then, I will press the reset button so that the MicroPython will execute the main.py. I will press and ta -da! our code is now running inside ESP32. And to make sure that it is really running from main.py, we can remove the USB from ESP32. This one. I don't know if it's okay. And I will press. I will reset. Like that. And you can see that here in Tony Python, there is no serial being sent because the serial is sent through this USB cable. While this one, the one connected to ESP32 shield is just used as a main power. Okay? So, that's it. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any concern regarding this video, you may leave your message in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. You might also like to visit my blog post at tech2tinker.blogspot.com for more details about this video. Thank you! See you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.